take it away. Thank you, Medic and Razork. Thank you for joining me after this game. Congrats on taking down Astralis. Thank you. Quick words about the draft, maybe. You left Belveth open and we saw the impact that the champion can, could have earlier today. We know that you need to nullify the effect of the champion in the early game for it to be useless. So what made you confident that you would do so and make the champion useless? Mm, I mean, I think the champ is kind of useless if she doesn't get the form. Yeah. I mean, in early game, I think the champ is just full clear champ, try to get level 6 as soon as possible, and then it's just uh, try to get the Rift Herald, try okay. to get the Drakes, just get the ultimate form as soon as possible, and then, I don't know, the champ just scales really good and uh, has a lot of DPS. But I don't think the champ is actually really broken. Yeah. I think it's like, it has counterplay, but it's like a weird mechanic with the ultimate, I guess. It's just like, I guess in solo queue it's ramping up because uh, people get a lot of resets with yeah. the ult. Okay, that makes sense because Labrov was telling me that the champion is really busted earlier. But if you can work around it, I'm just wondering what is going to be the impact that the champion can have in the jungle meta right now because it's the least diverse role we have in League of Legends. Do you think we're going to see the pick rise in priority or not? Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Okay. I mean, the, the champ is relatively new. We okay. teams only played one week uh, in LSE, so I think we just need to keep uh, testing. Let's see if the champ, maybe the champ is broken, I'm, I'm wrong, and <laughs> we just don't know what the champ is capable of, but uh, right. I just feel like uh, we need to keep playing her and see if she's broken or not. All right, well, we'll see how the champion evolves. I wanted to look at this screen here because we're going to check one of the replays from the early game, the top lane dive. Everything was going well for you, but then Jung Hoon arrives afterwards and then it looks like things don't go so well for you. Can you explain to me what happened and what backfired for Fnatic here? Yeah, I think uh, Velvet was trying to get, get Pryo, but I think they went really deep on top, so I decided to counter gank. It's just that I didn't expect her to actually deal no damage. Yeah. I guess she timed properly her E and it's like 70% damage reduction. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I, I was feeling it and I said, <laughs> Under, I'm going in. It was honestly a risky play, we could have lost the Herald, but uh, I got the first blood and actually this play wasn't even good for us, I think. No. We, we <laughs> went two for one, but yeah, I think like we just need to know what Velvet is capable of and mm -hmm. I think we, we just need more time. Yeah, you guys managed to make it work afterwards and there's a thing with Wonder and top lane dives, especially when he's playing Gragas and he got the Kia player of the game here. So would you say that Wonder is the best Gragas in the LEC right now? Uh, after me, yes. <laughs> I, th I mean, I think uh, Wunder is actually a really good Gragas player. Yeah. And uh, I mean, last split he was playing the tank and you saw the three-man dive that he, he plays really good with the champ. And I think he deserved the, the MVP. All right, but after you, though. At the, yeah, okay. after me. Focusing on the game you're going to have tomorrow, match of the week against G2. I know things have not been going the way you expected so far with Fnatic, but what is your word on the matchup? How do you think this one will go? Well, I mean, my goal coming up to this week and coming up for yeah. tomorrow match, uh, it was to actually perform better as a team because I feel like last week we were playing really bad and we got away with one win against BDS, but the performance was really shaky. Uh, so the goal for me and from the team is to actually bring a better performance. Mm -hmm. We have been training this week and we recovered from our illness that we were sick last, last week. So I'm expecting to actually play a good match against Cito and hopefully bring the win. All right, and great to hear that you're feeling better, Razork. Thank you so much for the interview. Good luck against uh, D2 Thank you. tomorrow. And then we're going to take a short break. We'll be back for the last game of the day, Mad Lions.